Patterson's demand that the state Senate vote on a same-sex marriage bill fell on deaf ears today, but it generated a lot of loud noise and an angry shouting match between supporters and a Bronx senator against the measure. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer reports from Albany. Tempers flared in Albany today as gay activists demanded, but did not get, a vote on legalizing same-sex marriage. And there was a tense shouting match between a Rockville Center couple and Bronx Senator Ruben Diaz, one of the chief opponents of the measure. You don't give a crap about the children, do you? No. You want the people to vote next year, right? Next year. And last year was the year before. And the year before. I'm telling you, the people don't want that. What people? What people? Jeffrey Friedman held his six-year-old son Joshua in his arms as he and his partner Andrew Guerin confronted Senator Diaz. Explain to our son why he does not deserve the same protections as his students in his class. The the argument continued even after Diaz walked away. Six years ago, New York State allowed us to jointly adopt our son. And, and, and at this point, New York State doesn't recognize us as a family. There are people that think that because they raise their boys and they make noise, you gotta, they scare you. And that's, my principle will not be changed. My belief will not be changed. And gay activists are furious with the sentence in action. Let me just be very clear. Them not acting today is actually the New York State Senate saying they don't care about gay and lesbian families. And we take that very seriously. The same-sex marriage bill apparently became the victim of politics. Senators were nervous after several setbacks to gay rights during last week's elections. In Albany, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Sources tell CBS2 that if the issue did come to a vote today, it would not have passed.